O Shabbat Shalom, once again, Shabbat Shalom, una vez más. Aquí uh, eh, estamos una vez más con ustedes. We're here again with you guys here. Uh, we're in, in San Antonio, Texas. Estamos aquí en Texas, en San Antonio. Traéndoles la palabra, bringing the word. Um, if uh, you're not hearing it right now live, si no lo estás escuchando en vivo, uh, también ponemos los videos. We put the videos up on uh, Telegram, uh, YouTube, uh, and also uh, Truth Social. And we're looking for other avenues. Estamos buscando otras maneras para subir videos. So we're going to get into the today's word. Um, just for everybody to know, uh, today's reading was Bo. Uh, la lectura que leímos hoy era Bo, que significa B. It means to go, um, and and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna have a, a, a study or a word from there. Vamos a tener una palabra de ahí hoy en este día. Um, so aquí estamos con cada uno de ustedes. We're here with each and every one of you. Um, I'll fix this here a little better. So Shabbat Shalom once again. Shabbat Shalom una vez más. Estamos aquí con cada uno de ustedes. Um, it's a pleasure sharing the word. Es un placer compartiendo la palabra. Uh, if you want to open your words, ¿quién abrir la palabra? Uh, vamos a abrirla en uh, in the book of Shemot, en el libro de Shemot, que es, es conocido como Exodus. It's known as Exodus. Um, so... Um, book of Exodus, give you time to find it, chapter 10, vamos a hablar en uh, capítulo eh, 10, and I'm going to go ahead and read uh, uh, the first verse, what is the first verse? It says, and Yahweh said to Moshe, go to Pharaoh. For a, I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his servants, so that I show the signs of mine before him. Dice, Yahweh dijo a Moshe, ve a Faraón, porque yo he vuelto a él y a sus sirvientes de corazón endurecido, para que yo pueda demostrar estas señales mías entre ellos. Vamos a orar. Father, uh, we give you thanks, Father, for this Shabbat. Te damos gracias, Padre, por este Shabbat de este día, Padre. Que podamos adorar tu nombre, that we're able to praise your name and to lift up your name on high, Father. And I just ask, Father, that, that you touch each and every one of our hearts. Que toque cada uno de nuestros corazones, Padre. Let our hearts not be hardened, Father. Que nuestros corazones no sean endurecidos, Padre sino que nuestros corazones sean blandados, let our hearts be softened, that we're able to receive your word, que podemos recibir de tu palabra, not only receive it, Father, but to put it to practice, no solamente recibir, para ponerla en práctica, Padre. Te lo pido en el nombre de Yeshua HaMashiach, Amén and Amén. Eh, estamos viendo aquí que... In the libro de Shemot, in the, in the name of, in the book of names, in the libro de nombres, que es lo que significa Shemot, <coughs> eh, pero muchos lo conocen como Exodus, many know it as Exodus, pero realmente el libro se llama Shemot. It is called Shemot. Here we see that, that Yah is speaking to Moshe, Yah le está hablando a Moshe, y le está dando una, le está diciendo Bo, le está diciendo, Bo, ve y habla con Faraón. Porque dice, ¿por qué? Porque yo le he endurecido su corazón. I have hardened his heart. So, en hebreo es, Hikbati uh, Lev. Hikbati Lev. Es eh, que ha endurecido su corazón. Si podemos mirar que él. Aquí ya había hablado él con Moshe de esta situación. He had already talked to Moshe about the situation. And just so we can see, let's go to Exodus 4.21. 
Vamos a Éxodos 4.21 para que veamos. So, en Éxodos 4.21... Cuando estén ahí, digan amén. You there? Amén. So, okay. We're, um, it says, And Yahweh said to Moshe, As you go back to Mitzrayim, see that you do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in your hand. But I am going to harden his heart so that he does not let the people go. Yahweh dijo a Moshe, cuando llegues a Mitzrayim, asegúrate de hacer delante de Faraón cada una de estas maravillas que yo te capacite para hacer. No obstante, yo lo voy a volver de corazón duro y él rehusará dejar ir al pueblo. Una cosa que tenemos que entender algo aquí, la palabra está diciendo que él va a endurecer el corazón de Faraón. He says that he's going to harden the heart of Pharaoh. Um, we can uh, misinterpret, podemos malinterpretar la escritura aquí, tocante a uh, lo que está diciendo aquí, of what it's talking about here. And what, what I want to say about that is, is that we can we can harden and we can uh, misinterpret it because hardening doesn't mean that he's going to make his heart hard. No quiere decir que él le va a hacer su corazón duro, sino que el corazón de Faraón le iba a él dar fuerza, that he was going to strengthen him. In other words, Pharaoh already has a mindset. Faraón ya tiene un tipo de mentalidad en su vida. He, his mindset and his way of thinking is already set in his heart. En su corazón ya está como lo que él piensa of what he thinks uh, uh, about the situations. So, in other words, he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harden or I'm going to give him the, the, the value or the strength to go ahead and And, and be stubborn, in other words. Le va a dar el valor para que él pueda estar, uh, se puede decir, necio. In other words, many times what's happening is that he wants to deal with our hearts because we're stubborn. Él, él quiere tratar con nuestros corazones porque somos necios. We want to do things our way. Queremos hacer la cosa a nuestra manera. Uh, we want to make excuses. Queremos ser excusas. And, and it's always, we want to justify the condition of our heart. Queremos justificar la condición de nuestro corazón. Y ahora, le está diciendo aquí Yahweh a Moshe. Yahweh speaking to Moshe. He says, well, I'm going to give him the strength. Le voy a dar la fuerza. For him to stay in his stubbornness. Para que se quede en su... Eh, que él es terco. He's being stubborn. Necio. Para poder tratar con él. So that I'm able to deal with him. See the thing is there... But there's two dangers here. Is where... Uh, you either humble yourself to me as... O... Eh, tu corazón se hace más duro. Your heart turns more bitter. And, and many people in their life, muchos en su vida no pueden, no pueden cambiar. They can't change. And it's not that they can't change. No quiere decir que no, pueden, que no quieren cambiar. It's because they're stubborn. They don't, they, son, son, uh, como son uh, duros, son, son tercos en su corazón. It's their pride. Es su orgullo <clears throat> y no quieren cambiar. And they don't want to change because they don't want nobody to tell them what to do. Porque no quieren que nadie les diga lo que van a hacer. And, and, and here Pharaoh is confronted with this where he sits on a throne. Se sienta en un trono as Elohim, como un Elohim. And we see that in scripture that Hasatán, Hasatán, the, the adversary, 
He says, for I will be, I want, I'm going to be like él. Yo voy a ser como él. And I will sit. Y yo me sentaré. It is not our place to sit in the place of the Almighty. De estar sentados en el lugar del Todo Poderoso. So, what happens is that then, what Yah does, He confronts us and nos confronta con nuestra manera de que somos, the way we are. So here he begins to confront with Pharaoh that, you know, he thinks he is the creator. Él es el creador. And, and, and I'm going to go, let's go ahead and read verse 2. Vamos a leer verso 2. Okay, so we know that Yahweh is going to, says he's going to harden his heart. Le va a durecer su corazón. So that it says, so that I show these signs of mine before him. Para mostrar señales. See, Yahweh wants to show signs. Él quiere mostrar señales. And there's going to be either two things with these signs. Vas a con estas señales. Either you're going to believe in him. Vas a creer en él. Or you're not going to believe in him. Verso 2, verse 2. And that you relate in the hearing of your sons and your son's sons. That I have done in Mizraim, <clears throat> in my signs which I have done among them, and you shall know that I am Yahweh. Para que le puedas decir a tus hijos y a tus hijas de, de acerca de cuántas cosas hice para burlarme de los Mizraim, acerca de mis maravillas que yo demostré entre ellos, para que así todos ustedes sepan que yo soy Yahweh. Sí. Not only what does he want to show you, solamente que te quiere enseñar a ti, but he wants to show your descendants. Quiere que tu descendencia sepa también que él es el todopoderoso, that he is the almighty, he is the great I am. Él es el yo soy, el gran yo soy. Que él puede ser lo que él dice, yo puedo ser lo que yo quiero ser. I could be whom I want to be. <clears throat> so, dice el tres, and three, it says, And Moshe and Aaron came in to Pharaoh and said to him, Thus said Yahweh Elohim of the Hebrews, Till when shall you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go so that they serve me. Moshe y Aaron fueron a, a Faraón y le dijeron a él, Aquí está lo que Yahweh Elohim te ha, de los hebreos dice. ¿Por cuánto tiempo más rehusarás someterte a mí? Deja a mi pueblo ir para que ellos me puedan adorar. Es que cosa que puede decir que vergüenzosa, vergüenzosa. How embarrassing to say, you know what? I'm the ruler. How am I going to humble myself to these? ¿Cómo me voy a yo humillar delante de ellos? He says, I'm the one that sits on the throne. Yo soy el que me siento en el trono. Pero le está diciendo Yahweh, ¿hasta cuándo te vas a humillar? And he tells each and every one of us, until when are we going to surrender our hearts over to him? ¿Hasta cuándo vamos a entregarle el corazón? When are you going to surrender your heart to him? We can say we, we surrender our heart to him. Podemos decir que nuestro corazón está entregado a él. But, but our actions, nuestras acciones, habla. Our actions speak louder. Uh, cada uno de nosotros. Y cuando nos humillamos delante de él, what does it mean to be humble before him? ¿Qué significa ser humilde delante de él? Es quiere decir quitar los muros, to remove the fence or the walls that separate you from him. What is separating you from a true relationship with the creator? ¿Qué te está separando realmente tener una relación con él? Is it unforgiveness? El no perdonar? It is bitterness? Is, is it your job? Es tu trabajo? Is it your car? Es tu carro? 
Is it your possessions or tus posesiones? What is it that takes the place of him first? ¿Qué es lo que toma el primer lugar de él? Solamente tú sabes a lo que le das prioridad. We can spend hours, I can give an example, we can spend hours on our phones. Podemos pasar horas y horas en nuestro teléfono. But when it's time to read the scripture, pero cuando es tiempo de leer la escritura, como que, ay, no tengo tiempo. I don't have time. Or uh, hacemos excuses, we make excuses. It's boring, es aburrido. Or I don't understand it, o no entiendo. Well, tell him, I don't understand your word. No entiendo tu palabra. Help me to understand. Ayúdame a entender tu palabra. You know, because he's, he's going to deal with us <coughs> according to who we think we are, como se queremos que somos. And he's going to hit us where it hurts us the most. Y nos va a dar el golpe donde nos duele más. If you love money, si amas dinero, ahí te va a agarrar. He's going to get you there. If you like uh, worldly possessions, y te gustan las posesiones del mundo, ahí te va a agarrar. Wherever area that you are struggling with, la área que, que batallas, ahí te va a tratar. And two things are going to happen. Either you humble yourself, te humillas, and, and you are close to him, y te acercas a él, or your heart gets more harder. O tu corazón se pone más duro. It is up to you. you. The decision is in your hands. La decisión está en tus manos. Um, <clears throat> quiero hablar de algo interesante. Y quizás no, no lo habías visto así. Pero quiero que vayamos a Éxodos. Uh, cuatro. Let's go to Exodus chapter 4. Verse 1. 4-1. And, and I'm going to ask Jose to read in Spanish. So uh, to help me out here. By you me. And Moshe answered and said. And if they do not believe me. Nor listen to my voice and say, Yahweh has not appeared to you. Moshe respondió, pero yo estoy seguro que ellos no me creerán y no escucharán a lo que yo digo, porque ellos dirán, Yahweh no se te ha aparecido a ti. Verse 2. <clears throat> and Yahweh said to him, What is that in your hand? And he said, A rod. Yahweh le respondió, ¿qué es eso en tu mano? Y él dijo, una vara. And he said, throw it on the ground. So he threw it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moshe fled from it. Él dijo, échala en la tierra, y él la echó en la tierra. Se convirtió en una serpiente, y Moshe retrocedió de ella. Okay, a couple of things here is we got to understand. Tenemos que entender que... Que Moshe había huido de Mitzrayim. Moshe had fled Mitzrayim, Egypt, because he had killed a man, mató a un hombre, and he was afraid for his life. Él tenía miedo por su vida. And he left, but yet, 40 years later, 40 años después, he was confronted, fue confrontado, y fue... Estar en la presencia ahí de, de, de Yahweh. He was in Yahweh's presence. He had an encounter with him. Tuvo un encuentro con él. And he asked him what he wanted him to do. He told him what he wanted him to do. Le digo lo que quería que hiciera, que fuera a hablar para su pueblo, to his people. And he says, how can I do this? And he tells him, what's in your hand? Que está en tu mano. Una vara, dice. A rod. In other words, if he's going to send you to do something, si él te va a enviar a hacer algo, las herramientas van a estar en tus manos. The tools are going to be in your hands to go do the work that he's telling you to do. 
Es nada de ayudarse, wow, I gotta now go get the tools, ahora tengo que ir a agarrar las herramientas para hacer la obra que tengo que hacer. No. He said, throw it on the ground. So he threw it. Que la tiene en la tierra y la tiró. Y dice que se convirtió, it converted into Nahash. Se convirtió en Nahash. ¿Qué es Nahash? Una serpiente, a serpent. And it said that he fled. Y él huyó. How many times don't we flee? No huimos de la oportunidad que está en nuestras manos. Of the opportunity that's in our hands. Muchas veces huimos. Está algo en nuestro alcance. Something's in our reach. Y cuando se manifiesta. And when it manifests. We get scared. Nos asustamos. I want you to uh, see here is that <clears throat> he is being confronted, but he had to, he started to make excuses. Él empieza a hacer excusas de ir a confrontar al faraón to confront Pharaoh. Why? Because he remembers his past. Se recuerda de su pasado. Usually your past is what holds you from moving forward. Tu pasado te detiene de caminar hacia adelante. Let's go now to chapter 7. Vamos a capítulo 7. <clears throat> verso 9. Verse 9. Okay, so I want you to notice that here Moshe cast his step on the ground and it turned into a Nahash. Se convirtió en un Nahash. <clears throat> now, en verso 9. When Pharaoh speaks to you saying, show a miracle for yourself, then you shall say to Aaron, take your rod and throw it before Pharaoh and let it become a serpent. So Moshe and Aaron went to Pharaoh and they did so as Yahweh commanded. And Aaron threw his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Okay, leo del 9 al 10. Cuando, fara, cuando Faraón les diga a ustedes, hagan un milagro, dile a Aaron que, que tome su vara y la tire al suelo delante de Faraón para que se pueda convertir en una serpiente. Moshe y Aarón fueron delante de Faraón e hicieron eso como Yahweh había ordenado. Aarón tiró su, su, al suelo su vara delante de Faraón y sus sirvientes y se convirtió en una serpiente. Ahora, si miramos, if we see, the majority of all the translations use the word serpent. Usan la palabra serpiente para traducir aquí. Lo que se convirtió. Pero lo interesante. Que en el hebreo aquí no dice. Nahash. In the Hebrew. It does not say Nahash. It says. Tanin. Anybody can look it up. In the, where, where in the place of the word. It says serpent. It doesn't say serpent in Hebrew. No dice serpiente en hebreo. Sino dice Tanin. You know, what was interesting, I was in a class uh, yesterday, uh, a Hebrew class with a rabbi, con un rabino, and, and I was talking to his teacher, este maestro, and I, I was talking to him about this, this verse. Estaba hablando con él de este verso ayer. No, uh, two, yeah, two days ago, actually. Los hace dos días. I was talking to him about this. And he says, you know, interesting that you bring this subject up. Dice, interesante que traes este punto de vista. Because somebody just emailed me, porque alguien me mandó un email, diciéndome que la vara se convirtió, that the staff turned into a dragon. Que la vara se convirtió en un dragón. So I, he said that he really did not pay much attention to the email. No puso mucha atención al, 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 al mensaje de email. Pero dice que ahora que le digo. So he began to take his Torah out. Sacó su Torah. 
And the book said, and he began to read it there with me. Y empezó a leerlo conmigo. We were reading it in Hebrew. Y me dice, you are right, Ricardo. Está cierto, Ricardo. Dice tanin, which is crocodile. Que es cocodrilo. <laughs> so, you know, for me, it's not impossible to believe if it's, if someone says, oh, it's not possible to turn into a crocodile. Well, is it possible to turn into a serpent? Es posible que se convirtió en una serpiente, sí. So, es posible que se convirtió en un cocodrilo. And, and why am I saying this? So, and then I also took him to uh, the book of Ezekiel, lo llevé a Ezequiel. And there it says, Hatanin, which is a, a Hatanin Hagadol. Hatanin Hagadol it means a great sea monster. Un gran uh, monstruo del mar. And, and what's interesting in Genesis 1.21, in Genesis 1.21, the word that he says that, that the, 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 the seas was teeming with many animals, con muchos animales en el mar, it also uses the word tanin. So he's great, but it doesn't specify what type of creature or, yes, this word could be translated, esta palabra puede ser traducida como uh, serpiente, dragón, serpent, dragon, crocodile, cocodrilo, sea monster, un monstruo del mar. But I would have to say, I, I even suggested to him, to the rabbi, let's say, el sujeto al rabino, could it have been, because it also has a reference to sometimes with poison, tiene una referencia a veneno. I said, could it have been, what are those animals called? A kimono dragon, un dragón eh, que muerde, tiene veneno y los animales se, eh, y luego se los traga como una serpiente, like a reptile, but it means known as a lizard type, un una lagartijo. So, I mean, that's something to be researched. Es algo de ser investigado. But where am I going with this? ¿En dónde voy con esto? If you look into Egypt's History, si ve la historia de Egipto, there is a Elohim or a God, un Dios, que se llama Sobek, que se llama Sobek, and he is the God of the Nile, <coughs> es el Dios del Nilo, de Egipto, and what does he look like? He is a crocodile, él es un cocodrilo. And it is a symbol of fertility and life. Es un símbolo de fertilidad y vida. And what's interesting, y lo que está interesante, que en el libro de Ezequiel 29, in the uh, chapter 29 of Ezekiel, I don't remember exactly the verse right now, but it's talking about Pharaoh, where he says that he lays there like Hatamin, que ahí se cuesta como Hatalin, como un... Como, yo puedo decir, pues, como un cocodrilo, o un gran uh, monstruo, like a great monster, like a crocodile in the Nile. And, so why do I say it would have to be a crocodile and not a serpent here in this occasion? Porque aquí es un cocodrilo y no una serpiente, a serpent to say. Because he now, is, first he was confronting Moses estaba confrontando a Moshe. But now he is confronting Pharaoh. Ahora se está confrontando con el faraón. And, and, and you know, it says that when he threw his staff down, it turned into, I'll say, a crocodile, un cocodrilo, but then the mag magicians, los magos, threw their staffs and it turned into a hatananinim. Se convirtió a Hatananim. Es un cocodrilos, crocodiles, but he says that one ate the others. Ese se tragó el otro. Showing superiority, enseñando superioridad sobre el Elohim del, over his Elohim. Now, if you want to believe it was a serpent, that's fine. <coughs> está bien si quieres creer que era una serpiente, está bien, y si no, también está bien. And if not, that's fine. I am just pointing out this, the word that is used there, la palabra que es usada ahí, 
en esta situación. Sí, he is confronting him. Los está confrontando con lo, en lo que ellos creen. He always will confront you in what you believe. So you can find the true and one only. Para que pueda encontrar el verdadero. Let me give you another example. Darte otro ejemplo. Now, we see here that in the book of Jonah, in the libro de Jonah, <coughs> que es uh, Jonas, Jonah, known as the dove, conocido como la paloma, he is swallowed by a great agadol dagish. Un gran pez, or a dog, dog, a great dog, un gran pez. Who did the people of Nineveh worship? ¿Quién adoraban a los de Nineveh? ¿Quién adoraban? Ellos ellos adoraban al al Dios de que era un pescado, mitad humano, mitad pescado. <coughs> so ellos adoraban al, uh, se puede decir al dios pez they worship a fish god so who is Jonah swallowed by a great fish un gran pez and he comes out of the mouth of a fish y sale de la boca del gran pez in order to to talk to them the message excuse me <clears throat> so I am showing you here that he will confront you as he was saying he says but I'm going to harden the heart of Pharaoh and shall increase my signs and wonders in the land of Mitraim y se le voy a endurecer el corazón al faraón y va a ir aumentando y aumentando mis señales y mis prodigios en la tierra de Mitraim. Y el verso 4 dice, And Pharaoh is not going to listen to you. Faraón no te va a hacer caso. And I shall lay my hand in Mitraim and bring my division of my people and my children of Israel out of the land of Mitraim by great judgments. Para mostrar. <coughs> How is Yahweh going to show you that he is great? ¿Cómo te va a mostrar Yahweh que él es grande? Just by telling you, nomás diciéndote. Te lo tiene que mostrar. He has to show you. And he allows those that, through the ones that have their heart, prideful, los que tienen el corazón orgullosos, and are not willing to change, y no quieren cambiar, he's going to deal with them, They're going to pressure you. Te van a dar a ti quizás presión, but then he's going to deal with them. Él va a tratar con ellos. You're being attacked by somebody. Está siendo atacado por alguien. Pero él va a mostrar que él es mayor que esa situación. He is greater than that problem. So, let's go ahead and go back to chapter 10. Vamos a capítulo 10. In Exodus. So. As the time goes on. We see that. That. Pharaoh does not listen. <clears throat> to the point. That he allows. And he takes you to a very dark place. Te lleva a un lugar muy oscuro. Vamos a ir al capítulo 10. Verso 21. Let's go to 10.21. It says, and Yahweh said to Moshe, stretch out your hand towards the heavens and let there be darkness over the land of Mishraim. Darkness is Hoshek in Hebrew. Hoshek is escuridad in, in uh, Hebreo. 
And let there be darkness over the land of Mitzrayim, even a darkness which is felt. Dice Yahweh dijo a Moshe, extiende tu mano hacia los, el cielo y habrá oscuridad sobre la tierra de Mitzrayim. Oscuridad tan densa que puede ser sentida. He's telling them the darkness that he's going to feel, la oscuridad que va a sentir va a estar tan oscura que hasta la va a sentir. It's going to be so dark that he's even going to feel it. In the Hebrew, it says, Hoshek ve Yames. Hoshek is darkness. And then that he can, Yames is grope. It's, you know, like, if it is so, so dark, have you ever been in a dark uh, place, un lugar escuro, or, or have you been in somewhere where it's so dark that you have to put your hands out, tienes que sacar tus manos para poder saber, para que no te caigas, so you don't fall. It's almost like you're in a bright, let's say you're in a bright room, tal lugar de mucha luz, and they turn off the lights and it's pitch black. <coughs> y está completamente oscuro. And you begin to, whoa, I can't see nothing, no puedo sentir. Immediately it grabs your attention, agarra tu atención. Porque la oscuridad está tan intensa. Que buscas de donde agarrarte. To find a place where to grab from. You know, and that's, that is something that I, you know, I, I, that if you think about the place where you go, el lugar donde te vas, donde no está Yahweh, where Yahweh is, his presence is not there, it's a very dark place. A place that you are alone. It's a darkness, una oscuridad que vas a sentirla. You're going to feel it because you might be able to hear things, oír cosas, pero no va a poder ver. You're not going to be able to see because it's that dark. See, what am I suggesting to you? Que te estoy surgiendo. Que examines tu vida. That you examine your life and see where you're struggling. Ve donde está batallando and humble yourself. <coughs> Humíate delante de él. Humble be yourself before him instead of being humbled. Ve mejor que él te humille, que tú te humilles antes de que te humille. <clears throat> it is better to humble yourself before he humbles you. When I go through troubles, cuando yo paso por eh, problemas y luchas, I say, you know, what, what are you trying to teach me? ¿Qué me quieres enseñar? ¿Qué me quieres enseñar? What are you trying to teach me? So that way, you know, I can learn and do what I need to do. Aprender y hacer lo que tengo que hacer. You know, so, because the fire that you go through, el fuego que pasas, hay una lección que necesitas que aprender o estás aprendiendo. There's a lesson that you're learning or you need to learn. And it's better for you to humble yourself than him to deal with you. Es mejor que te humilles, de verdad que él trate contigo. That is the reason why we go to situation because he wants to deal with our hearts. El quiere tratar con nuestros corazones. He's either going to deal with you in your home or he can deal with you in your job. There could be people that are confronting you, gente que te está causando problemas, or uh, customers can maybe treat you a certain way. Quizás los clientes te pueden tratar de cierta manera. Also, you could deal with your situation. Para que trate con tu situación. <coughs> That's why it, he says, por eso él dice, Hijo mío, child of mine, dame hoy tu corazón. Give me your heart today. 
<coughs> and I will change that heart of stone into a heart of flesh. Y yo voy a cambiar tu corazón de piedra a un corazón de carne. See, a heart of flesh <coughs> has movement. Tiene movimiento un corazón de carne. Pero un corazón de piedra va a ser quebrado. It's going to be broken. <coughs> so I, I tell you today, examine your life. Examina tu vida. Y ve qué es lo que Yahweh está hablándote y diciéndote. What is he telling you? What is the message he's trying to get across to you? ¿Qué es el mensaje que te está dando de dar? Busca lo ahorita que puede ser encontrado. Seek him while he may be found. Let's pray. Father, we give you thanks. Te damos gracias, Padre, por tu palabra. Oh, Father, we, get, we ask you, Father, that let our, our pride be removed, Father. Let we let go of our pride, Father. Que, que soltemos, Padre, la, nuestro orgullo, Padre, of wanting to be right before men. El tratar de estar bien delante de hombres, but being wrong before you y estando mal delante de ti. Only because we want to be right. Solamente porque nosotros queremos estar correctos. Y realmente estamos mal. And in reality, we are wrong. Father, I just ask, Father, that our hearts, Father, be softened. Con tu corazón sean ablandados and not hardened. Y no endurecidos nuestro corazón, sino blandados delante de tu presencia, Padre. Pido que nos perdones. We ask that you forgive us, Father. And that we come to your knowledge, Father. Que vamos al conocimiento tuyo. And accept you as our Savior. Y te aceptamos con nuestro Salvador. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. En el nombre de Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Y amen. Shabbat Shalom to everybody.